the only swimmer, male or female, to win eight medals in a row in the same event at the World Championships, the great Federica Pellegrini has decided to hang up her goggles. In this week's video from Propulsion Swimming, we're going to break down the career of one of the world's most popular swimmers. And boy was it a successful one. Pellegrini was the first female Olympic champion in the history of Italian swimming and the only Italian swimmer to have ever set world records in more than one event. So let's kick things off by digging a little bit deeper into her achievements over the course of what was an incredible career. Pellegrini's first international medal came at the 2004 Athens Olympic Games, where she won silver in the 200 meters freestyle at the age of 16, becoming the youngest Italian athlete to ever medal at the Olympics in an individual event. After an outstanding start to her international career, she then competed at the 2005 Montreal World Championships, where she matched her Olympic debut performance in winning a silver in the 200 meters freestyle. At the next World Championships in Melbourne two years later, she competed in the 400 meters freestyle, finishing in fifth place. But it was in the 200 meters freestyle where she was starting to set the world alight. In the semi-finals, she set her first ever world record in a 1.56.47. However, in the final the very next day, this record was broken by her rival, Laurie Manadou and Pellegrini had to settle for a bronze. At the 2008 Eindhoven European Championships, Pellegrini won her first long course gold medal in the 400 meters freestyle, setting a new world record in a time of 4.01.53. By the time the 2008 Beijing Olympics came around, Pellegrini was firm favorite for that 400 meters freestyle gold medal, being the world record holder at the time. Unfortunately though, this didn't happen. Although she set an Olympic record in the heats, she could only manage fifth place in the final. But this wasn't to be an Olympic Games full of disappointment for her. It was the 200 meters where she really shined. And in the heats, she set a new world record in a time of 1.55.45. Her world record was again broken in the final. However, this time it was by herself. She went on to swim a 1.54.82 and win her first Olympic gold medal in the process. Now the world record holder in the 200 meters freestyle in the long course format of swimming, Pellegrini set her sights on getting the short course record and she didn't have to wait long. At the 2008 European Short Course Championships, she won gold in the 200 meters freestyle, and you guessed it, she set a new world record in a time of 1.51.85. But despite all of these international medals and world record swims, Pellegrini had arguably her best ever meet in front of a home crowd at the 2009 Rome World Championships. Here she set a new world record in the 400 meters freestyle and became the first woman ever to break the four minute barrier. She also won gold in the 200 meters freestyle at this meet in a ridiculous world record swim of 1.52.98, a world record that still stands to this day. Later that year, Pellegrini continued to break more world records, this time in the short course format of the pool. At the 2009 Istanbul European Short Course Championships, she broke her own 200 meters freestyle record in a 1.51.17. At the 2011 Shanghai World Championships, Pellegrini's imperious form continued. She became the second woman ever to defend a 400 meters world championships title and the first woman to defend a 200 meters freestyle title. 
Now, although she won the 200 meters freestyle and the 4x200 meters freestyle relay at the European Championships, she failed to make the final in the 400 meters freestyle, finishing in 10th place. And this was a little bit of an omen for the Olympic Games in London later on that year. The best she could manage was fifth place in both the four and the 200 meters freestyle with less than impressive times, a 404 for the 400 and a 156 for the two. After the disappointment of the London Olympics, Pellegrini said she wasn't going to race the four or the two at the 2013 Barcelona World Championships. Instead, she was going to focus on the 200 meters backstroke. However, this wasn't to last as she did in fact race the 200 meters freestyle, finishing in second place to America's Missy Franklin. The 2014 Berlin European Championships was the last time we saw Pellegrini race the 400 meters freestyle at an international competition. She finished in fourth place in the final, but she didn't come away from this meet empty handed, again retaining her titles in the 200 meters freestyle and the 4x200 meters freestyle relay. At the 2015 Kazan World Championships, Pellegrini won silver in the 200 meters freestyle behind Katie Ledecky and a silver in the 4x200 meters freestyle relay. Now that second place finish in the 200 meters freestyle was a monumental moment for swimming. She became the first female swimmer to win a medal in the same event at six consecutive world championships a stunning achievement that she only went on to better throughout the rest of her career. In 2016, in the build-up to the Rio Olympic Games, Pellegrini yet again won gold at the European Championships in the 200 meters freestyle. And this should have set her up nicely for those Olympic Games, where she competed in the 200 meters freestyle, the 4x1 freestyle relay, and the 4x2 freestyle relay. However, it was to be another disappointment at the Olympic stage for Pellegrini. She finished a disappointing fourth in the 200 meters freestyle and was so devastated after this moment that she said she considered making big changes to her life. Well, those changes must have worked because at the 2017 Budapest World Championships, she returned to her imperious best. She won gold in her favorite event of the 200 meters freestyle, beating the likes of Katie Ledecky and Emma McEwen in a time of 154.73 and in turn handing Katie Ledecky her first ever loss at a major competition. And you guessed it, by winning that gold medal, she furthered her consecutive podium streak, becoming now the first ever swimmer not just female, swimmer full stop to win seven consecutive medals at world championships in one single event. Truly astonishing. However, she was not done there. In the 2019 world championships, she made it eight. Yet again, winning gold in the 200 meters freestyle in a time of 1.54.22. At the Tokyo Olympics, which were unfortunately delayed due to the COVID pandemic, Pellegrini set more records in the pool. She became the first woman ever to qualify for the 200 meters freestyle final in five consecutive Olympic games. Now, in what was a stacked field, she unfortunately didn't medal, but equally finished an impressive seventh place. For Pellegrini's final leg of her career, she competed at the ISL in 2021, where she represented and captained a much improved Aquark Centurions team. With the help of Pellegrini's experience, freestyle prowess, and leadership, Aqua qualified for their first ever playoffs, finishing sixth place overall and really surprising everyone who had written them off throughout the year, bringing a close to one of the most distinguished careers in the pool. 
A career that included two Olympic medals, 11 World Championship medals, and 20 European Championship medals. So the big question, why was Pellegrini so good? Well, from a very early age, she had a very clear understanding of how to race the two and the 400 meters freestyle. And this continued right up until the point that she retired. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, every swimmer who has watched her race will know that Pellegrini has some incredible back end speed. In every race she ever swam, she would swim that first half of the race at a steady pace, otherwise known as easy speed. She was never phased if another swimmer decided to take it out fast or if at the halfway point she was fifth, sixth, maybe even further down the field. She had confidence in herself that she had the stamina and the ability to catch up her opponents and ultimately overtake them by the end of the race. There was no, and in my eyes, there is never going to be a better back-end swimmer than Federica Pellegrini. In her own words, believe it until the end. Swimming is sorely going to miss this incredible role model and icon of our sport. And she will forever go down, not only as an Italian legend, but as one of the greatest to step on the blocks. That just about rounds up this week's video from Propulsion Swimming. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like this video if you have, share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to the Propulsion Swimming YouTube channel for more up and coming swimming content. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.